Hello, my name is Klaus and I want to demonstrate some of the features of the CASO 5X copying program. Uh, we will use a scan of one side of a capital. It has a defect here and we want to make a complete 3D capital based on this scan. I will first repair the damage here by copying the, the good part to the right side. I do that by defining a, a plane parallel to the YZ plane and I'll use this for mirroring. I select the capital and move it to the to the mirror. I have to rotate the, the plane 180 degrees so that I mirror the right side. I do that by selecting the mirror, go to rotate, type in 180 click on plus Y so and then I select modify mirror plane so now the right and the left side are equal I hide the, the plane I don't need it anymore uh, there has been created a group and I put both half of the the geometry in the same group so now they work like one entity. Next I'll show you how to make a complete 3D capital based on this. I'll copy this capital three times and put it together. First I will move it up in set 165 millimeters. I've selected the capital. I choose the move tab. I type in the 165 and press the plus set. So now the y-axis will be axis of rotation for the capital. I copy the selected scan using modify copy and modify paste. You can see there's some shortcuts also. The new copy has been selected and I go to the rotate tab. I type in 90 degrees and press on the plus Y. So now the, the copy has been rotated 90 degrees around the Y axis and it's still selected so I go to modify copy and modify paste. The new copy is selected so I just click on the plus Y and the rotate. So now I have three sides and I finish by copying and pasting again. The new copy has been selected so I can just press the plus Y in the rotate. So now I have a complete 3D capital. Over here it has made three copies and uh, their groups and I want to make one group to put them all in. What I do first is to select the, the root group, the meshes and right click new group. I select the new group and right click and rename it for example capital 360 and then I can drag and drop the groups into this new group to have a one object with the capital. So that's it. Now we want to mill out the capital. Before we go to the cam section, I'll orient the capital so that the, it's standing like this on the table of the machine. To do that, I have to pull up transform again, select the capital, go to rotate and rotate it 90 degrees around x-axis. So now it's put like this on the table. I click on the cam tab and now I'm inside the cam section. What you see here is the table of the machine and the yellow box here is the raw material of the capital. You define the, the raw material, the raw stock right click on the raw stock and here you can see the bounding box size of the scan and here you can add 
some other material. In this case, I've put 50 millimeter in X, Y, and Z, so the resulting block will be this size. You can put the scan inside the raw material as you like. I've chosen to center it in X and Y and Z, so that means that we have 25 millimeter everywhere between the scan and the raw material surface. Retract is uh, how the tool moves between the different phases of the of the capital. In this case, I've chosen 50 millimeter, so that means that the, the tool will move out 50 millimeter before it goes up in a safe set height. This is very important that you have a good value here. The origin of the piece is not the same as the zero point of the geometry. You can put the zero point of the piece wherever you want. Normally you would put it in a corner and have the set zero in the top. You can uh, add uh, an XYZ value to the coordinate system if you want. Here you see the zero point is in the corner of the material. I'll go into raw stock again. The next thing is the tolerance. The tolerance is a measure for how precise the, the milling will be. A tolerance of 0.2 mm is okay for stone, for sure. The raw stock position on the CNC machine. Here you can move the raw material uh, by pressing the plus minus y plus minus x. You can also put in a number here for x and y and move it. And finally you can lift up the, the raw material from the table, in this case 250 millimeter. So now we've defined the raw material and the position on the machine. And now we want to proceed with the milling operations. We uh, right click on the raw stock, select new operation, and here you see the work plane and the stock plane. In the work plane you define the areas that you want to mill, and these are then projected down to the geometry, and is limited by the stock plane. We can change the properties of the work plane. In this case I want to have the tool milling along the plus x-axis. So, and the tool that I want to use is a saw blade of 600 millimeter in diameter. The area that I want to cut should be the bounding box. So I right click on operations, select raw stock bounding box. Now we've defined the area. The area parameters we can get access to by right clicking on the area, select properties, and I want to mill parallel to the table, like this, and I want to have a step over of 20 millimeter, so I have 12 millimeters to break with the hammer after. So now I've defined work plane, I've defined the tool that I want to use, and the area. Now I've defined the first operation. I want to mill the other three sides the same way, so I'll just copy the current operation, and I do this by selecting the operation, right click, copy, then I select the raw stock, right click, and paste. I do it once more, paste, once more, paste. So now I have four copies. The only thing I have to change is the work plane. The second one will be minus x and I have to adjust the area. 
but because it's a cube uh, the area is positioned okay the next one I change to plus y the area is also okay the last one put to minus y so now we've defined four operations with the same tool with all the same parameters so we can cut the four sides now we have defined the first four operations but we haven't calculated the toolpath yet to do that you press the hammer icon Caso 5 axis is a multi core processing uh, software that is the use of it in this case we have a, a PC with uh, eight cores um, and we start 16 bus in order to speed up the calculations. So now the toolpath calculation has ended for the four si first sides and if I select an operation you can see the toolpath the red line means uh, rapid movement and the black is in feed rate if you click the 5 axis head icon you can show the, the head of the machine and the tool and you can also simulate the toolpath if you select the play button here press play So that was the first four operations ready to be post-processed for the CNC machine.